The Blue Angels are back. You might have heard them up above, and thousands of families have made it a yearly tradition, really, to watch the air show. In its 72nd year, dozens of performers, planes, and pilots are going to take the skies over the weekend. News for Jacks reporter Krista Moyer was on the flight line at NAS Jacks as the famous flight demonstration squadron touched down. The Blue Angels are in town and they don't come quietly. It's a homecoming of sorts. The Blue Angels performed its first air show in Jacksonville in 1946. And this weekend, you'll get to see the FA-18 Hornets up close and personal. It's also a special homecoming for Jacksonville native Petty Officer 2nd Class Brandon Williams. He maintains the signature look of the aircraft for the show. I haven't been back home in whew, about seven years, so it's, a, it's an awesome opportunity to come back here and uh, put a show on for the fans and for my city. For these men and women, being part of the Blue Angels is an honor. The team represents represents the 800,000 men and women serving in the U.S. Navy Marine Corps worldwide. What all does it take to make this show come to life? Practice. Lots of practice. Several months and countless flight hours, and they have to build trust. During the show, these jets will fly up to 700 miles per hour, getting as close as 18 inches of each other with precision flying in formations. They'll be sharing the airspace with a dozen other performers, along with the plane stationed at NAS Jacks. The air show is free. Saturday, the gates at NAS Jacks will open at 9 a.m. Civilian and military acts begin at 10, with the Blue Angels flying at 12.30 and 3 p.m. On Sunday, the Blue Angels perform one show at 3 p.m. and it's recommended you bring ear protection, especially for small children. For more information on the air show, head to newsforjacks.com. Reporting at NAS Jacks, Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, the local station. And starting tomorrow at 8 o'clock, the Coast Guard will establish a one square mile safety zone on the St. John's River in the area of NAS Jacks. While the aircraft crews are performing, no one will be able to swim or boat within this safety zone.